Welcome back to that God Power channel. This is the channel where we're going to unlock the God Power land dormant on the inside of you. But first today, what we're going to do is continue with our book of Acts review breakdown from the Bible. Um, I told you that we're going to get Acts done before the new year. Obviously, we only have one more day before the new year. So, I plan on releasing chapter 25, chapter 26, chapter 27, and chapter 28 today. So, um, this is chapter 25. With no further ado, let's jump into it. So if you can remember at the end of chapter 24, uh, Festus uh, took over Felix's spot as the governor, and Paul was left in jail. So three days after Festus arrived, arrived in Caesarea to take over his new responsibilities, he left for Jerusalem, where the leading priests and other Jewish leaders met with him and made their accusations against Paul. They asked Festus as a favor to transfer Paul to Jerusalem, planning to ambush and kill him on the way. But Festus replied that Paul was at Caesarea and he himself would be returning there soon. So he said, Those of you in authority can return with me. If Paul has done anything wrong, you can make your accusations. So about eight or ten days later, Festus returned to Caesarea and, and on the following day, he took his seat in court in order that Paul be brought in. Now when Paul arrived, the Jewish leaders from Jerusalem they gathered around and they made serious accusations they couldn't even prove. And Paul denied the charges. He was like, I'm not guilty of any crime against the Jewish laws or the temple of the Roman government, he said. And then Festus, wanting to please the Jews, asked him, Are you willing to go to Jerusalem and stand trial before me there? But Paul replied, No, this is the official Roman court, so I ought to be tried right here. You know very well that I'm not guilty of harming the Jews. If I have done something worthy of death, I don't refuse to die. But if I'm innocent, no one has a right to turn me over to these men to kill me. I appeal to Caesar. And Festus conferred with his advisors and then replied, Very well, you have appealed to Caesar, and to Caesar you will go. So a few days later, King Agrippa arrived with his sister Bernice to pay their respects to Festus. Just went to honor him and whatnot. So during their stay of several days, Festus discussed Paul's case with the king. So King Agrippa. He was like, there's a prisoner here whose case was left for me by Felix. When I was in Jerusalem, the leading priests and the Jewish elders pressed charges against him and asked me to condemn him. I pointed out to them that Roman law does not convict people without a trial. They must be given an opportunity to confront their accus accusers and defend themselves. When his accusers came here for the trial, I didn't delay. I called the case the very next day and ordered Paul be brought in. But the accusations made against him weren't any of the crimes I expected. Instead, it was something about the religion and a, a dead man named Jesus who Paul insists is alive. I was at a loss to know how to investigate these things, so I asked him whether he would be willing to send this trial to Jerusalem. But Paul appealed to have his case decided by the emperor. So I ordered that he be held in custody until I could arrange to send him to Caesar. I like to hear the man myself, Agrippa said. So the king wants to hear him. So basically, Festus convinced with the story that he just told to King Agrippa, the king, to hear out Paul's story. So he's like, I, I want to hear the, the man myself, said Agrippa. And Festus was like, you will, tomorrow. So the next day, Agrippa and Bernice arrived at the auditorium with great pomp accompanied by military officers and prominent men of the city. Um, Festus ordered that Paul be brought in. So then Festus said, King Agrippa and all who are here, this is the man whose death is demanded by all Jews, both here and in Jerusalem. But in my opinion, he has done nothing deserving death. However, since he has appealed his case to the emperor, I have decided to send him to Rome. But what shall I write to the emperor? For there is no clear charge against him. So I've brought him before you, and especially you, King Agrippa, so that you can offer, so that we can examine him, and I might have something to write. For it makes no sense to send a prisoner to the emperor without specifying the charges against him. And that is the end of chapter 25. So basically, in chapter 25, the new governor, Festus, who replaced Felix, came in and was like, okay, I got this prisoner, Paul. I don't really understand your charges, dude. Um, 
And Paul, he was like, do, do, like I think that your case would probably be better if you did it in Jerusalem. And Paul was like, no, dude, if I go to Jerusalem, they're going to kill me. And so he was like, well, and then Paul wanted to go to Caesar to appeal his case because he's like, yo, this is Roman matters. Like, I shouldn't be dying for none of this. So he goes to appeal his case at Caesar. And and um, Festus is like, all right, man, if you want to go to Caesar, you go there if you want to. And then um, King Agrippa and Bernice's sister comes along the next day. And, you know, they want to hear Paul's story because they're interested. Like, mm, I wonder what this is about. So they hear they're they're about to hear the story because right at the end of chapter 25, Paul gets brought before them so that he could tell the story. So thank you for joining me in chapter 25. Hope you learned something. Um, hopefully Paul doesn't get, you know, convicted of doing anything wrong in front of these people. Um, and we'll figure that out in chapter 26. So um, I'm going to go ahead and post this right now. And then I'm going to go ahead and get chapter 26 out in a few hours. So thanks again. Make sure you subscribe and like. Uh, and uh, happy New Year's Eve, yeah? Peace. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I forgot one thing. You? Love of a dog.